Hey YouTube, I'm Jay back after a uh, slight hide. Yes, due to school, our work and a few other things. With another review, this time we're going to be looking at the Dark of the Moon Megatron. So you can see, I already have him without the cowl on. If you want to see pictures of it with it, they're online. But it's just a rubber cowl. Clips in here, fits over his head, drapes on. Now, thing I want to do, show off the head. So you can see he is battle worn in the new form. Fairly nicely de sculpted head. Uh, a lot of details, just very brown. <laughs> Because the head's almost all the same color. There's a little bit of silver here and a little bit of silver in the face and then the light piping. I would have liked to have seen, I know it's a head on a Voyager, but a little more detailing. Well, highlighting to the detailing, so I might go back and do that myself later. For posability, all the way around. Shoulders can go up. Rotate at the bicep. A single elbow but pretty good rotation and then it does have kind of a weird mid bicep because of its transformation so you can get pretty much any of the pose you want and then the wrist can go in and out due to wrist articulation or transformation which I must say I love his hands that's one of my favorite parts of this figure is he's just got these sinister looking hands has a waist joint technically even though it's up here hips pretty good range of motion as long as you don't clip things knees fairly good bend back pretty far and no real ankle which is okay for it. the gimmick he's got the mech tech gun release snaps back, push it forward, you get the guns, and then twist the ladder to lock it in. Alrighty. From there, for size comparison, here he is with Masterpiece Hot Rod. As you can see, he goes up to a little around the ab section. We'll get into this transformation. All right, we'll start the top section. Pull out on his chest. After you pull out on his chest, rotate the head all the way back and lock it in under the grill. You're going to want to come over here, rotate the arms in, and what you're going to want to look for over on the side is when you rotate it in that you line up the wheel well so it's flush it's just going to make things easier with the grill push the two grill pieces together and lock go up and lock it in and you're going to do the same thing on the other side push it up You're going to see in here there's a little tab on the inside of the arm, right there, and that'll fit right into this groove here when you're putting it in vehicle mode. Then we'll come up here and finish the cab section before we go any further. What you're going to want to do, pinch all of this together. Make sure the hood section is locked in. Make sure the grill section is locked in. This grill is probably the biggest pain and also thing that I know I forget a lot uh, when transforming. Make sure when you're going vehicle mode, you push it down. When you're going to row mode, you push it up. It becomes intuitive eventually, but I forget it a lot. And then lock it, in, push it in, lock it in up front. Now, come back around here. Make sure. You have that all clipped in properly. Then if those are lined up, this 
section will tongue in over that so it's giving it a very secure vehicle mode and then rotate around so the wheel well or fender all comes together same on the other side flip in the hands and that'll uh, rotate the torso around and then that should all if you did it right should all just fit in there snugly flip down and we'll take a look at the legs. What you're gonna do is take the crotch piece, flip it down. Uh, make sure you do that. I forgot it the first few times. Push up, push up, and then come around for the legs, which actually I probably should have done first, but oh well. Pull out on the wheel part section, flip down the feet, and then it'll then accordion up on the back side and rotate it all around. Then finish straightening out that so it ends up flush. You're going to do it on this other side. Attach this outside. Flip out the feet. Accordion it up. And straighten it out. Come around here. And lock everything into place together. And everything does give a pretty good tight locking snap, so you'll hear it. And the last thing you're going to do after all that's in line is a little flap here. Push it up. Lock it into place. Ditto on the other side. And that'll actually hold, add more stability to holding in the hand. And when it's all like that, come around here, flip in the little tab where the gun attached, and bring it up, and it'll lock right into place on the oil tanker. And there you have Megatron in vehicle mode. Oh, one other thing. Flip the tires out. Robot mode, they should be like that. Vehicle mode, he'll have actual tires. It's fairly nicely detailed. I like the fact that they gave it a nice light rush brushing. And then uh, there's one thing that I'm not sure, uh, at least on mine, because I haven't really paid it too much attention to the vehicle mode pictures. So I'm not sure if it's a manufacturer defect on mine or if it was a carryover from the robot mode design. Uh, he's got one of the pieces of glass that sticks out farther, like it. And I've actually checked; it doesn't move in farther. It seems like it's actually sculpted like that. So I'm not sure if it was intentional or not, but it gives even the windows on the vehicle mode kind of that partially deformed look, like Megatron has. But I'm guessing there's a good possibility that that's just because I got it early. It's a manufacturer reject or something. Uh, Posability in this mode. Articulation in this mode. You get rotating tires. So he, he does roll very well. And the cab section bends. Where it switches from oil taker to cab, it does bend. However, uh, be careful. There is some slight clearance issues because of how the oil tanker attaches that occasionally can bump. From there, what you want to do, take the cloth, slap it on, and then you're, there you have the Dark of the Moon Megatron Taker Truck. For size comparisons, here he is with my favorite evil tanker truck of Transformers history, R.I.D. Scourge. And he's dwarfed. Uh, the one thing I have to say is I like the fact that they included the whole section, everything, into the transformation. I thought that was really cool. They didn't just try to give us a cab and everything. However, because it is an oil tanker, a Voyager mold, I feel like, just doesn't work. This mold would be, even if it was leader size with this transformation, I would be happy with it. But it's 
such a great mold and a really cool design, but it's so tiny. No matter how you look at it, it's gonna look small. <laughs> All next to even a Voyager Megatron or Optimus from the same line. Robot modes are gonna be about the same. Vehicle mode, it's gonna be cab to entire semi. So I'm hoping they come through and actually do a full size mult leader class or actually I'm just hoping for leader class of Megatron with this design. As it stands right now, I'm as much as I I like it. If they do a leader, I have plans for this. <laughs> Cuz I'm thinking if this mold would work amazing for a movie style menacer and the stunt because this with the movie style stunt accounts I think would look really cool they've released a lot of really good scout size figures that I think I can really work with into the Stunticon, so I have a lot of plans for this mold particularly. So we'll see what happens, whether I keep him as Megatron, or attempt myself, or commission maybe a project with it. We'll see. Alright, um, coming attractions. Currently ordered are the Chrome Seekers from KO Toys. I have the Target Roids, the Ultimate... Perfect Effect, Ultimate Warrior Set, and the Primers Optimus should be here by the end of the week, so I'll have those up, as well as, um, not, probably not by the end of the week, but on order, I do have a couple more Dark of the Moon figures, nothing spectacular, Starscream, which everybody's probably seen by now, and one of the Wreckers. wreckers. I got a good deal from one of the people I buy a lot of Transformers from, so... Darker the Moon reviews, It's you're not going to see a whole lot from me, but you'll see a few. Alright, thank you guys for watching, and take care.